in this video we will talk about the glock genes so what are glock genes glock genes are basically known as glock genes because they are responsible for regulating the intracellular timekeeping system that is present throughout the body of an organism and uh, it maintains the 24 hour rhythms that are present in the physiology and behavior of animals so circadian rhythms what are circadian rhythms these are the rhythms that uh, uh, that are responsible for the physical mental and behavioral changes that follow a 24 hour cycle so circadian rhythms are basically controlled by the clock genes that code for the clock proteins and the levels of these proteins fluctuate throughout the day and the rise and fall of these proteins in is in a rhythmic way that's why these are known as clock genes and they control the activity of uh, an individual throughout the day next uh, the word clock basically means the circadian locomotor output cycles kekaput and uh, this is a gene that is believed to affect the persistence means the duration and uh, the period or the timing of circadian rhythms so here in this figure you can see the two phases that occurs in a 24 hour period the active phase and the rest phase rest phase is during the night and first of all during this um, phase the transcription factors known as the clock and bmal1 these are the transcription factors clock and bmal1 that bind to the e box in the uh, nucleus or you can say that DNA this clock BMAL1 complex binds with the DNA and induce the transcription of PER and cryogenes or this results in the formation of PER and cryo messenger RNA what is PER? PER is basically the period gene and cry is the cryptochrome gene so it results in the expression of these genes and the formation of messenger rna the messenger rna then uh, leaves the nucleus and binds to the ribosomes that are present on the endoplasmic reticulum and the process of translation results in the formation of per and cry proteins these proteins uh, start accumulating in the cytoplasm and uh, after their build up during uh, the night these proteins form complex that is known as per and cry complex and this complex then enters back into the nucleus next the per and cry complex binds with the clock and bmal1 complex this results in the separation of clock and bmal1 complex from the e box next after a few uh, hours the binding or phosphorylation the phosphorylation of PER2 will result in the degradation of PER and CRI complex. This degradation will set the clock and BMAL1 complex free in the nucleus and it will then bind with the E box again and the cycle will start anew. So this basically acts as a feedback system in which the buildup of certain uh, clock proteins in the cytoplasm will result in the suppression of the activity of the transcription factors whereas the buildup of these uh, uh, complexes in the nucleus will result in the degradation of the PER and CRI complex by the phosphorylation. So, this is basically occurs in a feedback system and the buildup of these proteins basically acts as a feedback mechanism and in this way uh, the circadian rhythms in the organisms are controlled